Hey guys, my name is Derek and you're watching Always En Route. Thanks for following us along as we live our daily lives full time in our Airstream. In this video we're going to give you some basic tips on some maintenance that we do on our Airstream and it would work for any RV. We're going to have a little fun so let's go. Well good morning. A lot of times uh, when we do these videos, we if we're going to shoot on the inside of the Airstream, we want to clean it up a little bit, make it look nice. And we have to do that kind of thing, you know, because you don't want to look like uh, you're a slob. <laughs> but keeping it real with, you know, living in an Airstream or living in your RV, period, you don't always keep it clean. <laughs> Damn me. Uh, spent the night at my daughter's house last night to help her out. So I stayed in the Airstream. And for those who don't know, we're staying in the greater Sacramento area because my daughter's uh, pregnant and she's going to have uh, my uh, grandchild pretty soon so um, we're in the area we don't want to leave we want to stick around so we can help out and that's what we're going to do so we we'll bounce back and forth between Thousand Trails campsites like right now we're at Lake Menden and we bounce over to uh, Ponderosa RV Resort and we just do that back and forth back and forth yeah, we are living in our stream full time, and that is what we do. If we weren't staying here in the greater Sacramento area, we'd be doing that all over the place. So Our daily routine is Tammy gets up, makes coffee for both of us. She usually gets up before I do. She brings me a cup while I'm in bed. She sits over here on the couch. She crochets and watches YouTube or whatever she wants to watch. And I lay in bed and I watch YouTube or whatever I want to watch. And then after a cup of coffee or whatever, then we get up and start our day. Now that Tammy's not here, I gotta start my day without her. I'm using the microwave and I'm uh, making tea. I'm trying to get on this less caffeine thing. You know, New Year, we're all trying to do better things, work out more, and I'm gonna do that this morning as well. I'll do some push ups and sit ups. I may go for a walk. I don't like walking by myself without Tammy. But then uh, later, I'm gonna pack up the Airstream and I'm gonna head out and go see Tammy. So, full timers are just like anybody else and it's not always glorious. My neighbor last night, whoever they may be, so you can see the sunrise is coming up. It's kind of nice. It's a nice, beautiful day, but our neighbor, whoever he might be or she might be, noisy man. Blam, blam, blam. It sounds like they're doing construction in their own rig, and they may be doing that. I don't know. So it's just like this noise thing. That you got to deal with. Sometimes you get these neighbors that are really quiet, aware of all their surroundings and everybody else who lives here, and sometimes you don't. <sighs> it's just the way that is, too. It's supposed to be a beautiful day today. I'm looking forward to it. It's always nice when it's prettier outside instead of the cold. I don't like cold. We don't like cold. Cold to us is like you're in 50 degree. That's cold to us. Just trying to keep it real with you. Yeah, so I'm gonna do my workout, get out of here. Go see Tammy, and we're gonna head over to Ponderosa RV Resorts. And if you're wondering, how do you work out in an Airstream? There, you're right, there's not a lot of room. When we do our workouts, Tammy will stand back there by my currently unmade bed. And I do mine right here on the floor. I lay out a mat, it's not a ton of room, but it works. Play our stereo, and it's great. Don't need a lot. I have bands, I, you know, I have exercise bands, and I just do a lot of lifting yourself, if you will. And in my case, that's uh, that's that's a workout lifting yourself. So, these are our bands, Otoland. We bought these on uh, Amazon two, three years ago. Whatever they were, they're twenty-five bucks. You could, they're still about the same price. There's several brands that do the same thing. These things are pretty good. You know, you have all these uh, different uh, bands, and you can do all kinds of different things. So if you think you have to have like this gym to go work out or you can't work out because you're uh, in your RV, it's not true at all. You just don't want to get too stagnant, right? It's too easy just to not do anything, not work out, not go for walks, not run, whatever is your routine. So those are great. I suggest those. Takes up no space. They're cheap. <music> has failed uh, man you need to not meet the nicest <laughs> you meet the nicest people you know I was just over there dumping and the nice man walked up and we had a long conversation about lots of different things and um, 
just nice people, man. And when you meet people and then you're like, oh, it's when you're leaving sometimes and you're like, man, I wish I would have met you when I first got here, you know? But that's the way it goes sometimes, so. Yeah, it's a different community, definitely full of nice and cool people that uh, it's a it's a great, uh, great community. So if you're new, you're wondering what it's like. Now you do sometimes have to go out. You do have to make friends, if you will. You do have to go out and be the nice person sometimes, but you'd be amazed, just like anywhere, you'd be amazed at how uh, nice people are. All you have to do sometimes is just say hi, you know, people, they're, they change. Sometimes you see that guy like me, you see this like, you know, they have that look on their face. And I'm not like that, really. That's just the look I've gotten from the law enforcement thing over all so many years. Uh, but, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, I'm not like that. So when, I mean, I'm, I love to talk to people. Anybody, anybody wants to talk, I, I talk. You know, let's talk. Be nice. Let's be, you know, it's, it's another thing, too. It's a, this political climate that we're in right now. It's just everybody's divided. I don't care what you are, just be a good human, right? You can't beat that thing, just be a good human. If we all just treated each other nicer than the media tells us, you know, it'd be a lot better place. I think we, we have a lot more in common, a lot more in common than what they're trying to portray that uh, we don't have, you know? They try to tell us we're so different. And we may be, but we're all living on the same place. We're all just trying to get along and, uh, get through this this life and uh, be happy and uh, help others and um, that's what things should be about so I don't know why I went off on that little tangent there but I don't know just came up in my head anyways I'm on the way to go pick up Tammy so I am looking forward to seeing her although it was only one day away from her I don't usually spend too much time away from her and hardly at all so uh, yeah and uh, see, got a wave. I've got one hand on the wheel, one hand on this GoPro. But uh, got a wave. Be nice to people. Be nice to people. Wave. Say hi. Even if you're in a bad mood, at least wave to people. All right, we'll see you. special day because it's my birthday so Tammy's uh, we're going off keto for a day oh look at this guy he's going to back up into me huh. he thinks he has enough room to back his trailer up in this red zone I only pulled over cuz we just oh my goodness he's gonna hit the curb there you go oh no okay he's pulling into that spot <laughs> all right so yeah, it's that special day. We're going off keto for a day and we're eating my favorite foods, which is Aikida's cherry cobbler pie. I'm having a slice. And I'm gonna go get a burrito, chicken burrito from this favorite place in the city of Lincoln, California. And that's all. So I'll show you what this pie looks like though. Hi honey, a pie. I eat this pie. Sweet. Show me the cherry pie. I uh, know there's cherry pie. There's French apple cobbler, and then for myself, I got a peach cobbler. Which she's so generous to buy all this pie. This is your birthday. It's a special occasion. You know, he's not gonna have a big birthday cake or anything like that. He'll just have some Ikea's pie and a burrito. Yeah, but it'll be a healthy burrito. It is a healthy burrito. <laughs> It's a healthy burrito. It's from a good, you know, it has it's good fresh stuff. ingredients. <laughs> it's good stuff made of burrito stuff. The only bad thing in it is if you get rice and the tortilla. But that's not that bad. It All could right. be worse. We're on route. We're in route. Always. So yeah, I said I'd show you the cherry pie. We already ate lunch and had, well I ate. Tammy's eating, had her Mexican food, burritos. And uh, here's my cherry pie. Mm. Cherry cobbler. Now, if I can learn how to make a keto cherry cobbler like that. Yeah, if you can make a cherry <laughs> keto cobbler. I'll get on that. <laughs> so, it is time to do some spring cleaning, some tidying up. Uh, but we're also going to be doing 
just regular maintenance a little bit Tammy wants to wash the curtains we'll show you why I'm gonna be washing the rig and I haven't washed the rig in uh, I, I hate to say it probably a month because we've been just going 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 and it's been cold and it's been raining and I really haven't had a place to wash it but right now it's uh, we're mooch docking uh, and we are going to wash it outside the house and I want to show you what I use and before I show you what I use I want to tell you that you know everybody's got an opinion about what they use and I you use whatever you think you need to use or whatever you want to use that's fine with me I'm not here to say what's best what's not I'm just gonna tell you what I use how I use it and show you how I wash our rig we're also looking for a leak to see if we have a leak in a window which I hope we don't but as I wash it I'll find out yeah just a little maintenance thing and we want to show you what we do so uh, let's go yeah so first things first I carry all of our uh, car washing waxing that kind of stuff with me all the time so I always leave a bucket in the truck with me so if we're out on the road and I need to wash the truck I'll take my bucket along with me and use it if I can wash it at a campsite I'll do that sometimes we can't some campsites won't let you do that so sometimes I end up um, going to a regular car wash one of those drive through hand car washes and I'll use my stuff and their stuff and uh, wash it ourselves uh, here's my basic stuff that I use one of these soft chamois I use Meguiar's it's a good it's good uh, car wash it's a good soap I also use when I wax it I use Meguiar's pure wax I know that Airstream if air for a particular in Airstreams they sell a particular one made by Airstream that they sell you it's a lot more crazy expensive if you ask me and no particular reason why you would want to do that um, I'm sure there's somebody out there will say that well you know it protects it better or something okay maybe maybe so so we use Meguiar's I use this also a glass cleaner regular glass cleaner and that's about it one thing I do want to say is that if you know or not knows that Airstream is made has an aluminum body except those those rock guards right there and those are made out of stainless steel now the first time I washed it I didn't realize they were made out of stainless steel and uh, I was using wax on it and I uh, the wax and the stainless steel don't work too well together so what you have to use is a uh, barkeepers and this is made specifically for washing stainless steel it's a soft uh, cleaner that can wash that stuff off there because you get tar on there all kinds of stuff that doesn't want to come off comes off really good with this so that's what I use there and some people will say I'm not gonna wash my own rig I'm gonna pay somebody and that's fine uh, but the thing about Airstreams especially is that they have a you have to wash it with a grain so the grain Again, I'm going to show you my dirty rig. I'm not even going to show you. I can write all kinds of things on here right now, draw faces. But the grain goes this way. It doesn't go up and down. So if you get somebody that doesn't know this and they're washing it up and down, they can put fine scratches in and well. So if you want to trust somebody to do that, you can trust somebody to do that. Or you can just do it yourself knowing that you're going to take care of it a little bit better than some guy you're paying to do it. And the other thing is, I would assume like any other washing material that you may use make sure that the brush you use which I use a brush on the top because I can't reach it is that it's clean otherwise you're gonna put scratches in on the Airstreams. Airstreams unlike other rigs that aren't made of aluminum they scratch really easy um, and so you want to make sure that you're not using any type of abrasive make sure all your cleaning materials are clean I'm sure everybody does this anyways with all their stuff, but I have to feel like I have to say it. So, yeah, so I'm going to start washing it. kids over at school out for recess and they're loud screaming so hopefully you can hear me regarding washing your airstream when you're washing it be careful with these letters if you wash them too much I might be even they're just on there with tape like a tape glue sticky tape and if you rub them too hard they will come off I've had that in a previous video and you'll see what I had to do to fix it not a big deal just be careful when you're washing that okay next thing I want to talk to you about is 
these plexiglass covers here and I love these things but when you wash them if you just dry them rub at them all they scratch really easy when they're in the Sun you can see these circles and it's just the plexiglass you can wax these just with regular wax I've done it before and it takes out all those tiny scratches that are in the plexiglass and it makes them look like new so they're really nice so that's tip number two for your Airstream realize about Airstreams that although they may be made well and put together with rivets that do come off um, a lot of the outside stuff is like the lettering it puts on with the sticky tape two-sided tape whatever they use so I've lost even sticker there's a reflector that goes right here in the back I have no idea where that thing is I don't know when it came off or whatever but I just checked the other one and it's just barely hanging on it'll probably go soon and then I'll have matching no reflectors I'm at the back of the Airstream standing on a stepladder so up there on top that's where the antenna was I say was because I don't know where the antenna is anymore it just came off one day. It's just one of those things, so make sure your screws are tightened down like anything else. You've got to go around these things, tighten down screws in any RV. Otherwise, things like that just happen. The antenna just flies off. Could be in Texas. I don't know where it's at. Okay, one thing I want to tell you about this bar keepers for your stainless steel on your... Oh, my GoPro's falling. This stuff is very specific in how to use it. I used it wrong one time and it just made a mess. So when you're using this stuff, you always want to wash it down first, get this portion wet, get this portion wet. You apply this when it's wet and you rub with the grain again. After that, as soon as you're wiping it on, you want to wipe it off, rinse it off. Because if you let this stuff dry on there, it's, it's kind of hard to take off, hard to get off this. So start wet, rub it with the grain, Make sure you shake this really well before you put it on there because like I said it has some type of abrasive and then rinse it quickly while it's still wet. If you use this stuff right correctly it works really well. So yeah I'm not going to get into the whole thing about how I wax my RV you want to know how to do that you can watch an episode of the karate kid or something they'll show you but uh, yeah so that whole thing took me about an hour and a half and uh, I like I said I'd rather do it myself than pay somebody so it's totally worth it looks nice and clean and uh, hopefully I'll be able to wash it again we'll have weather good enough where I can wash it again in the next uh, two weeks three weeks but uh, we'll see what happens with that. So just wanted to show you that stuff and uh, hopefully everything works out for you. All right. I need to wash the curtains in the Airstream. I wanted to show how easy it is to take them off. When we first got the Airstream, I was like terrified to take anything apart because I thought I was gonna break it. Um, but it's actually quite simple. And the reason why I need to wash them is recently we had a bunch of rain and we have lots of condensation inside the Airstream. It was right before we bought our new dehumidifier and it was so much of a buildup. You can see here, it's just like, I mean, it's just all over my side. It's over on Derek's side. So it's, I'm, like I can't handle it anymore. I have to wash these things. I can't look at my curtains like this anymore. So anyway, and then another tip, um, the first time I took them off, the, there's just like a little screw here and a little screw at the bottom. So you just have a screw here. This is a snap. So I guess I could just show you here. So this is the snap. So you unsnap the curtains. And then there's just a screw at the top and a screw at the bottom. And then this little plastic piece pops off and you literally just pull the curtains all the way around. You don't have to do both sides. The first time I did it, I, I took off both sets, which I don't know what I was thinking. Like you can literally just pull the curtains around. Um, but be mindful when you put them back because they are the there are different sizes. Um, it's a little wider at the top and a little more narrow at the bottom. So when you put them back on, if you're like, hey, the Velcro's not matching up, it's probably because you have it like upside down. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and take them off. Goodness, honey, did you think? 
you're gonna have to do it. <laughs> so the screw comes out and then you just pop this little guy out. Like that. And that's it. And then these will just slide right off. So I'll do the bottom one now. I can do this one. It's still turning, there you go. Same thing, pops right off. All right, so then this is the part. You just take it and you just pull them. See these little clip things here, when you put them back, these just slide like right in there, super easy. Same thing on the bottom. So they just come right off, just like that. Tempted to just leave the curtains off, wouldn't that look nice? Yeah, so much light. Oh, I'm gonna unsnap it. All right. Voila! Any secret to washing them or just wash them regular? No, I, I wash them in cold, just regular, cold, and they actually wash up really nicely, which I was kind of surprised as well. I was afraid like they were gonna like shred or something in the wash machine, <laughs> but they wash up really nice. I don't dry them. I just hang them out. And um, once they're dry, then I put them on. Do you use bleach? No, just regular dish, like dish soap. soap. Regular laundry soap. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I went ahead and washed them and dried them overnight and all the stains came out, so that's fantastic. What I do before I start putting them on is I figure out which one goes on first so that um, yeah, I don't have to redo it. All you do is, you know, obviously the one that goes over there goes on first. You just slide the little plastic on there like that and then the bottom one you do it the same way and then you just keep, keep putting them on as you go and pull it all the way around and that's it. They're nice and clean. Okay, so, okay, just a second, buddy. Um, it does take just a few minutes. <laughs> yes. We're watching Littles for a few days. Okay, look, we have to talk to the camera really quick. Okay, shh. So it takes a few minutes to put them up. Maybe, I don't know, what, three, five minutes to put them up there. Um, and I, it, it is a little more narrow at the top and wider at the bottom, if that helps. So when you lay them out, you want, it's, it's very hard to tell, but you'll know when you put it up it won't quite line up right. So you'll know you have them the wrong way. Um, but look how lovely they washed up. They're like, all the stains came out. They're super nice and clean. And um, smells like fresh laundry, which is always a good thing, so. All set, okay guys, say bye. Bye-bye. Say bye. bye. All right guys, that's gonna do it for this video. Thanks for following us along. If you like the video at all, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. It really helps our channel. Until the next video, Take care of yourself, be safe, and just be a good human. Peace.